Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. This is Cool ID Help and this is the new video tutorial about the JFX tree table view. So guys, we will discuss in this video tutorial about the JFX tree table view and we will see how to use the tree table view with the help of fxml file and how we can add the columns inside the JFX tree table view. So we will focus on these two points. So let's get started. Here I am inside the NetBeans IDE 8.0 and now go to the file menu and choose this one new project and now here in the choose project window we have to select this JavaFX and now on the right side in under the projects we have to select the JFX JavaFX FXML application now click on the next okay right here in the this window we have to give the name of the project so we are going to discuss about the JFX tree table view example so I have given the name that's all and rest of the things will be same and no change and now click here on the finish so here is the project and you can see JFX tree table view example this is the project folder and we have the source package and we have a default Java tree, Java FX tree table view example package and inside that we have three files as usual this is the project created by the NetBeans IDE and then you will have the same three files in your NetBeans IDE under the project so now what we have to do we have to use the JPhoenix based JFX tree table view so we have to include the jar in the library path so what we have to do so just click here and do a right click and go to the properties and now this window will open for you and here you can see that the sources is selected by default now come here on the libraries and you can see here in this tab and this is blank space and come here on the right side and you can see this uh, third third one and we're going to click on it so once you click it will prompt you this window the browse window so you can browse the location of the jphoenix jar so guys don't worry about that i have given the download link of jphoenix jar so you can download on your system and you can use it in this project okay so we have selected this now and going to open so the jphoenix.jar is set in the libraries of this project so that's good and now going to press this OK button okay so everything is set now now I'm going to add the JFX tree table view on this FXML so what we I have to do okay so first I need a scene builder so I have already installed the scene builder okay guys so this is the scene builder this is not the JavaFX scene builder 2.0 this is a different one so for, I have given the download link of this scene builder so you guys can download from the official website of the glue on okay now make it ready and just going to open this now so here is the glue on scene builder open and now we have to open the this FXML inside this okay then we will add the jfx tree table view so i will do a right click here on the file and i will choose these properties and now you can see here all files and just in front of that you can see the path and here is the three dots so you have to click on it once you click you will get the complete path of the file so i have copied here and close it and now go back here inside this uh, scene builder and go to the file menu and choose this open option <coughs> and in the file name just paste okay and now click here open so guys you will see the same fxml file is open inside this scene builder as of now what we have inside it 
So let me maximize it. So we have an anchor pan. This is the base pan on which we have a single button and a label. So label is not required right now. So I'm going to delete it. Okay. And I'm just keeping it aside because in the later videos we will use this button and we'll do more activities with the table view. So right here we have anchor pen and we have button. Now we have to add the JFX tree table view. So you have to type here in the search box JFX tree. So you can see here, this is the JFX tree table view control. So I will drag it from here and I will paste it. So I will drop it here. <clears throat> so this is little big. So I will resize it to fit inside the parent. Okay. So in such a way you can resize as well. Okay. That's fine. Okay. It's okay now. So we have this. Uh, Java FX tree table view control on the anchor pen and now I'm going to save this file Okay, the file is saved now and you can go to this menu and choose this preview and uh, Choose this first one. So you just click on it. You will see the stage and you will see the table But you will get this message no column inside this table. Okay, that's fine So we have added the JFX tree table view inside the anchor pen and we're using the FXML. I hope this concept is clear to you. Okay, so I'm going to close it. Okay, guys, so right here, I'm not going to add the columns here. So we will add the column with the help of code. Okay, so we will do a coding inside the Java file. Then we will add the columns in this table view. Okay, so what we will do? So we'll see one by one. So first, here what we have to do we have to give the fx id to this table view so i have selected just wait yeah i have selected this table view this is jfx tree table view and now here just open the code section and now as you can see here the fx id so we have to assign the fx id so i am going to assign this fx id okay <clears throat> now save it So we have done the task inside the fxml. That's all so you can close it or minimize it Okay, now everything is fine till now <clears throat> Now come back inside the project. So this is our project and we have this file Okay, so open this file the jfx tree table view example dot java Okay, so Right here you can see we have used this statement to load the fxml okay then we have created the scene object and we set this parent inside the scene and after that we have this stage object okay and we have used this method set scene and we set the scene object here and after that we have called this method show to display that stage at runtime so guys <coughs> This was the thing. Okay, so now, now we're going to the second point. So let me remind you the thing. So we have seen this one, how to use the JFX tree table view with the help of .fxml file. Okay, and the first part is done. Now we will move on this one. So we're going to add the column inside this table view. Okay. Okay, just minimize it, no problem. And come back here in the FXML document controller. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the code inside this file, FXML document controller.java, okay? Because once you load this FXML file, okay? Then the controller instance will be created and whatever the code written inside the initialize method will be executed. So we will have our JFX tree table view ready for use. Okay. <clears throat> so now here, what you have to do? Okay. So 
Till now what we have done, we have done the JFX tree table view on FXML, then we have assigned this FX ID. Okay. So just copy this FX ID and come back here in the FXML document controller dot Java. And now use this annotation dot FXML and do a and create the new private JFX. tree table view okay so if you are not getting the suggestion here so no problem go back here and copy this class name and come back here in the controller and paste it here now we needed this fx id for the reference variable so come back here and paste it here now still we getting this message like uh, this class is not available so do a press alt enter and you will see the import option and uh, just click on it and it's okay now and import statement is added okay okay that's fine right now and now come back here inside the initialize method okay so now Now we have to add the columns so we have to create the columns first so we have to use the class tree table column to create the columns okay guys so minimize it so here I'm going to create the columns I will add three columns inside this JFX tree table view okay so right here you have to write tree table Three table column so I'm going to create like a first name column is equal to new tree table column and use this overloaded constructor and right here you have to give the name of the column so the column name will be set to first name Okay, guys. <clears throat> so, this is the class that we are using to create the column. Okay. So, in the similar way, I will create the other two columns. So, this is last name and email, email column. So right here you have to change the name of the column as well and here we have to change the string as well. So now we have created these three columns with the help of this class. So guys I think this is clear to you and now once we have created the column, we need to add these columns inside the JFX tree table view. So what you have to do? It's simple. Now come here in the next line and now you have to use this reference variable tree table view dot get columns dot add all okay so you have to use the add all method and right here you have to pass the column names so we have three columns so I will use like this so add all method is required the collection of objects and the objects of type tree table column okay so in this way you can add these three columns inside the tree JFX tree table view okay guys that's all so everything is done everything is set now so I'm going to take a clean build of the same project 
and then we will run this example and we'll, we will see the output. Okay guys, the build is successful and now go to this file because it has a start method and the main method and now do a right click here and choose the run file. Okay now see here this is the stage and this is our Java FX, JFX, tree table view and we have these three columns the first name, last name and email that we have added from the FXML document controller so right here you can see let me show you <coughs> so in the line number 39 we have used this tree table column and the first column name is first name you can see here the first name and the tree table column we have created the second one which is a last name the last name is added successfully here and the third column we have created this email so the email is present here so guys this is the way you can create the column inside the JFX tree table view I hope you got the whole concept if you have still any doubts so please comment below I will try to reply as soon as possible and guys keep watching the second part of this video so in that video I will show you how you can add the data I mean how you can add the rows inside this JFX tree table view okay so we will meet again in the second part of the, this video series and guys please do like share and subscribe